Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In the last tutorial, we learn how to render data table server side into the Laravel application. And today we will going to learn how to delete record from the data table using Ajax. So it's very easy and pretty. And you can see here we server side data table implemented here and I want to delete this record from here right now this delete button is not working and I going to make it working perfectly so let's start you can see here uh, data table implemented here this is the script of the data table and this is the delete button you can see here trace icon and I given delete button class uh, for the listen the click event and I store the record ID into the data attribute so I can easily access this ID for delete the record so let's start let's dollar document dot on click dot delete button btn class and listen event here so let's complete this and now we need to get the id from the data attribute so let's uh, store id into the one constant id and let's get id from the event event dot current target and specify data and need to specify here attribute name you can see here id is a attribute of data so we need to specify id here now i going to specify ajax call here need to write ajax and back at complete the semicolon and we need to specify here URL let's specify category URL here is I store the category route of the index into the category URL but in this Ajax call we need to specify ID after category URL so let's specify specify ID here and we need to specify category URL here and next thing is type we need to specify method name here so let's specify delete and third uh, next one is third parameter is data type we need to specify here data type is json because we are passing data into the json and get the data into the json and now next one is we need to listen success and error here so let's specify success let's console this so we know and 
next thing is we need to return json from here because right now in the destroy method generator generate with redirect route index dot category but now we need to return json from here so let's specify this and send success here is a base controller and send success method declared here and this a base controller extend by the category controller so we can easily use this method and specify this method message specify this message into the this method and you see here this method get one argument message and set into the response and return the response to the API so now this method return response JSON response instead of redirect route so we need to specify here error as well instead of return redirect so let's check and you can see here one more method is send error and specify here category is not found so now this one is done so everything is done this spelling is wrong ajax so let's refresh and delete one record let's open console first so you can easily track the ajax call let's delete this category and we got error csrf token mismatch in the laravel we need to pass csrf token but into the ajax we uh, don't have any token so we need to include into the data so let's edit so let's add data property here and specify token into the one object let's specify underscore token and here we need to use laravel function csrf token underscore token so this function include csrf token into the this property so we can easily access the ajax call into the laravel so let's try again refresh it let's open the console again and try to delete and you can see your category deleted successfully and go to double zero okay but into the table this record still exists let me refresh and now record is not there so we need to reload this data table after delete this record so once we got success we need to specify here and we need to reload the category table so let's specify and give here id of the table which is declare above you can take from here 
and specify here and data table and ajax dot reload and this method this method reload the table so let's refresh and try again let's remove C++ you can see here the C++ remove without refresh because the after the success this table reload again and get the data again and render it again so this is very easy but one more thing is uh, without any confirmation uh, sometime by mistake we click here and record delete one more thing is it is possible to by mistake uh, record is deleted accidentally we click here and record is deleted so we need we should put confirmation pop up here so when click here confirmation pop up appear and when user click on the yes and confirm then record should be delete so i going to implement here sweet alert i hope you heard about sweet alert sweet alert is a very pretty and very beautiful UI and alert and pop up and easy to integrate. Let me show you sweet alert. You can see here the demo of the sweet alert. Basically, this sweet alert used for the confirmation and information pop-up so I going to use this sweet alert into the this application for the delete confirmation so first of all we need to add CDN of this sweet alert for CSS and JS so I going to add CSS and JS here let me add CSS and let me add JS here source code link given in description so you can use this source code and review it now CSS and JS of this sweet alert is loaded and we can implement here so after this click and before this ajax call we need to make sweet alert here and on the confirmation this call should be fire so let's implement here I have a one sweet alert function so I directly use it and let's put this ajax code here uh, this all are the property of the sweet alert you can find the into the documentation you can see here lots of example given into the documentation and advanced example everything given here you can use based on your requirement but right now I going to use this is the text of the body and this is the title or type of warning so let's
now we need to specify one more message into the success and error so let's specify here we can add it here when success also we need to specify error here if we got error from the backend so we can easily display it here let's specify error and we need to specify sweet alert here 